two-step equations. So two-step equations, now there has to be some order to it, okay? So we're thinking about, thinking about PEMDAS, and I go forward when I'm simplifying expressions. I go forward. Well, when I'm solving, everything has an opposite. I mean, think about it. When you go home and take your shoes off today, are you going to take your socks off first? No. <laughs> um, they're in a hurry, right? So you put your socks on, you put your shoes on. Well, there's a reverse order to that. You take your shoes off, you take your socks off. Same thing here. I need to go backwards when I'm solving. Still has to hold some kind of order. So we are definitely on solving. So we're thinking about PEMDAS backwards. That's why you have to undo adding and subtracting first. And then you undo multiplying and dividing, and then exponents and so on. So I would undo adding and subtracting first. The opposite of adding five would be to subtract five. And then I would finish by undoing dividing. Mm -hmm. The opposite of dividing is to multiply by two. Dividing by two, I'm going to multiply by two. Cancel, I get x equals 12. Now I'm actually simplifying by using PEMDAS forward. I would start by, are there any parentheses? No. Any exponents? No. Any multiplying and dividing? Yes. I would start with that first, 12 divided by 2. And then I would finish with my addition. So we will just cross out justify for today. Justify means you're writing down properties. Like I would have said additive inverse and then... Um, Multiplicative inverse, you're using properties to justify why you're doing what you're doing. All right, finish example two, 7x minus 4x equals 21. They're on the same side of the equation, so I can do exactly what it says, 7x minus 4x. The output of a function is 3 less than 5 times the input. What does output and input stand for? What's output? So if we look at 1.7, we wrote it down in 1.7. So the, I'm going to put above input, I'm going to put x. And above output, what am I going to put? I'm going to put those there to remind myself when I'm taking a test or I'm doing homework and I look back, I can see where I got those variables from. All right, so it says the output of a function is. What does that mean? How do I start writing that? The output of a function is. Y equals. Is means equal. So Y equals 3 less than 5 times the input. 3 less than. Yes. And then five times the input. There we go. There's the first part. It says find the input when the output is 17. So erase one. No, don't erase it because I would need to make sure that you can actually write that and then put 17 equals and solve. And then you can work on your homework. Thank you.